I was at school one day, chatting with my friends at lunch, and as we were chatting, there was a girl there that caught my eye. She was a bit of a homely looking girl, but she looked absolutely ravaging to me. At first, I didn't think much of her. I continued on with the school year. But as the days went by, I became increasingly infatuated with her. During the last week of school, I decided to approach her and asked her for her cell phone number. She accepted and input her number onto my contacts list, winking at me. I was so excited that I could barely stop myself from texting her the day after. I held myself back, though, and decided to wait a couple of days before sending her a message so that I didn't seem clingy or anything. We'd begun texting back and forth, talking about what we were doing for the summer, how our year was, some information about each other, etc. I had been getting up the urge to ask her out, but before I could, she asked me herself if we could meet up sometime. I happily obliged and we began talking about times and where we could meet up. I wasn't good with planning things, no, so I let her do most of the deciding. She had wanted me to come over to her house to hang out and have a barbecue with her parents. Sounded awesome, <laughs> so I obviously accepted. She gave me her address, and I was going to head over there the next weekend. It wasn't that far away, so... With my new driver's permit, driving over there would be quite easy. She began to be a bit more personal with me after the next few days, and I will admit, we talked about some questionable things. Pictures were swapped, and <laughs> it was incredibly fun. We didn't show pictures of our faces for privacy reasons, but all the same, it was incredibly amazing. But Friday, the day before I was supposed to meet up with her, we ran into each other at the local grocery store. I uttered her name, but she seemed bewildered. She told me that that wasn't her name, and then continued to ask me why I have not texted her. I was confused and told her that we've been texting for a few weeks now, the look on her face obviously disagreed with me. I showed her some of the texts and the phone number, and she told me that she accidentally got two of the digits messed up, and we had not been talking at all. I got her actual number and exited the store in horror. I did not arrive Saturday, and got multiple texts from this stranger asking where I was, what I was doing, but I just ignored them and blocked their number. Thinking back, they never gave much detail about their family, school, or any relative information at all. After a few weeks, my family and I were watching television, flipping through the channels, until we found a man being arrested for murder, child pornography, and rape at the same address that I was given. Showing his face on the screen, the man I was talking with the man I had sent those pictures to, the man I was going to see, right there in my face. <laughs>